love to use brain dumping for generating a list of tasks each month because it helps me to get all of those thoughts that are spinning around in my head onto paper and to clear up my head so I can turn those thoughts into actual plans. But what are you supposed to do if you can't think of anything to write down? I know that I really struggled with this in the beginning. To help you get started, I created a brain dumping list to help prompt or spark ideas about what you need to do. And I'm placing this in my planner to use it as a reference each month when I need to generate that brain dump list. This is broken up into different categories that are represented by the pink icons. I have home, errands, finances, communication, pets, health, personal, auto, work, family, scheduled, celebrations, and cleaning. I printed this out onto some cardstock using the highest quality settings on my printer and I'm going to cut this out using my cutter and punch holes in the side. This is sized for the classic size happy planner. You've heard it all before. If you want this printable, I'm going to link it down below in the description for you. I was young and I'm old, still care for the void. Uh -huh. So I just added this under the monthly list section since I'm going to be referencing this as I'm making my monthly list. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done, what do we do to love? What do we do to love? Before the beginning of each month, I create a monthly list. So I'm gonna set that up now for April. I'll be color coding this list later on. Before we get started going through the prompts, there are some general questions you can ask yourself. Some examples are, what is something you have to get done? Maybe you have to fill up your car with gas. What is something you have been procrastinating on completing? Maybe you've been putting off doing your taxes. What are others expecting you to do? Perhaps someone needs you to return their phone call. What is something that would reduce your stress levels if it was completed? That could be reorganizing your pantry, which would make it easier to find things so that you can cook at home. What is something you want or wish you could do? That might be starting a vegetable garden. Now on the monthly list, I'm creating a color coding key. I have four categories, do it, delegate it, delete it, and defer it. And now it's time to brain dump. These brain dump prompts are to help me create this monthly list. There is no specific order that you have to do this in. You can skip categories that are not relevant to you and just use it the way that will fit your needs the best. Also, if you remember that you forgot to write something down from a previous category after you've completed that category, just write it down as soon as you think of it. The best brain dumping occurs when you aren't worrying about trying to be perfect, you're just letting it roll and writing things down immediately as you think of them. Now I'm going to start at the top of the brain dump prompts list and work my way down. The first category is home organization projects. And I'm asking myself, what kind of organization projects do I need to work on? In my mind, I'm running through the different rooms in my house to stir up thoughts. I need to declutter the guest room. There is some paperwork in my craft room that I need to organize. And I need to organize the fridge. Next is home maintenance. What sorts of home maintenance projects need to be done? So again, I'm thinking about the different areas of my house. We need to replace the pipes in our house because they are 50 years old and I'm really worried that we are going to have a leak. We actually already had a leak in the ceiling of my craft room. My husband was giving his dad a tour of the house and they saw these bulges of water in the ceiling, but luckily they caught it before it caused a lot of damage. We also have a broken cabinet door in our laundry room, so we need to fix the cabinet door. 
We don't have any services and inspections to do at the moment, so I can skip that section. For the meal plan section, I'm just going to write down meal plan for next month in order to remind me to do that. Under the errands category, there is a grocery store, general merchandise stores, specialty stores, etc. I do need to purchase a Pyrex measuring cup, so I'll write that down and that will be added to my shopping list later on. Under finances, we need to refinance the house and I need to create a budget for the guest bath renovation project. The communication category includes emails, phone calls, RSVPs, letters, and happy mail. I do need to send a letter to my friend Lillian. Under pets, I need to clean my hamster Oliver's cage. And then as I was writing this down, I randomly remembered that I need to add a chili verde recipe to my meal planner. And even though it's out of order, that is the whole point of brain dumping. You write it down as you think of it in order to relieve your mind of having to remember that later on. Hobbies. I'm gonna say that planner stickers are one of my hobbies. I have some Etsy files of planner stickers that I want to print and cut out, so I'll add that to my list. Now I'm going to start moving down the list and color coding each item. The first category is do it, which I'm highlighting in pink. These are tasks that I'm going to do right now to get them over with if they take less than two minutes to do. So right now I'm going to go organize the paperwork in my folders and renew my track phone. Once those are done, I can come back to this list to check them off and then move on to the second category, which is delegated. And I'm highlighting these tasks in blue. In certain circumstances, I do believe that it's okay to ask others for help. So for example, I'm going to ask my husband to replace the water pipes in our house and to fix the laundry room door because he is very good at home repair and I am definitely not good at home repair. <laughs> Then we get to the deleted category, which I'm highlighting in this reddish color. These are tasks that are not a high priority and I'm not going to have enough time for them. An example of this for me is practice doodling. Although I would love to do this, unfortunately I don't have enough time at the moment, so I'm going to move it over to my someday maybe list in my planner. My someday maybe list is for tasks that I don't have time to do right now, but I may have time to do them in the future. Another example of a task that would be deleted from this monthly list is one that I found an alternative to. For example, in a previous list I had written buy gold spray paint in order to spray these handles that were going into my craft room. And then later on, I decided just to buy gold handles. So I was able to delete buy gold spray paint from my list because I no longer needed it. Under the defer it category, which I'm highlighting in green, are all of the tasks that are left over and that will be distributed into my weekly list. So these tasks are being deferred, meaning postponed, until the assigned week. I discuss how the weekly lists work in my 2020 planner lineup video, so I'll link that video in the description down below if you want to learn more. Brain dumping has the ability to reduce your stress levels by helping to organize those thoughts that you have in your head and to allow you to focus on what matters most to you. If you want to see more about brain dumping, please make sure to watch my how to brain dump video, which is in the upper right hand corner of your screen. And I'll see you next Saturday. Bye. Yeah, I can be a